Hi, my name is Bill Loden, and today I'm going to talk about the cost of moving to the cloud. You know, if you're lucky, you can find a rent-controlled cloud. You should check the obituaries. Cloud computing has been getting a lot of attention lately. It certainly seems to be the latest thing in computing. But too often, the latest thing quickly becomes last year's fad. So how do you know if you and Windows Azure are right for each other? See if your signs are compatible. Sure, you've heard about the technical benefits of having your application and data in the cloud. But what about the bottom line? What about it? When you hear experts talk about cloud computing, you often hear the phrase, you only pay for what you use. To me, that suggests a cost savings, but how do I know how much money I'm going to save, or if I'm going to save any money at all? That's where the Windows Azure TCO and ROI calculator comes in. This web-based utility will provide you with an estimate of your potential cost savings, customized specifically for you, based on information you provide about your application and its requirements. And it only takes about 10 minutes. To start, simply open up a browser and go to microsoft.com slash windows azure slash TCO. When you start the tool, the first thing you'll see is a simple questionnaire. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is that? What is what? That, right there! Well, it's a screen capture of the TCO and ROI calculator. Screen capture? Hey, I am in charge of all on-screen visualizations. Well, normally, yes. But it's not very effective to show a web page on a whiteboard when you can just show the real web page. Oh, I am so finally in grievance with the union. I am out of here. There are nine questions, each designed to extract the most relevant and important information about your application and its requirements. You can see that each question provides a drop-down box for you to select your answer. And if you're unclear about any of the questions, you can simply mouse over the information icon for a more detailed explanation. Can it explain who authorized this screen capture baloney? I thought you left to complain to your union. Well, I decided it would be more effective to make smart alecky comments instead. Lucky us. The TCO calculator can be used to provide cost estimates for both new applications and existing applications that you are thinking about moving into the cloud. If you have multiple applications that you are considering for Windows Azure, you can simply run through the calculator multiple times to get a unique report for each application. Can I run the same application several times until I get a number I like, like when I do my taxes? Once you've completed the questionnaire, and then you've clicked the Next button, the calculator goes to work processing your application profile and predicting baseline costs for your application running in Windows Azure. Let's first take a look at the Windows Azure Services tab. Here, you'll find that the tool has predicted the number of Windows Azure instances that your application will need. You can adjust this number if you'd like, and the platform costs will update accordingly. Ooh, put 100 billion, see what it does. Now in the Windows Azure Costs tab, you'll find estimates for migration, setup, administration, and support costs. At the bottom of this page, you'll see the estimated total cost of ownership, or TCO. As you can see, the tool accounts for variable costs, such as increasing storage requirements and one-time costs like setup and delivery. Can you lower delivery costs by selecting ground instead of air? You can even see the same data in a chart view to really understand what your actual costs are going to be. Oh, great, now I'm hungry for pie. It's not a pie chart. Well, who cares about the stupid chart? I'm just hungry for pie. Undoubtedly, TCO is an important factor to look at when you are considering Windows Azure. But to really make an informed decision, you need to know what the alternative is. And for that, we switch to the last tab labeled ROI Comparison. ROI. I know there's a joke in there somewhere, but I just don't have the energy to find it. Here, you'll see a comparison of what your application costs on the Windows Azure platform versus what it would likely cost if it were to be deployed as an on-premises solution. As before, you'll get a collection of charts to give you a quick visualization of potential cost savings and what you can expect to see as a return on investment. And here, just for you, is a pie chart. Too late. I don't want pie anymore. Now I want dessert. Well. What do you consider Pi to be? Just do your speech so we can get out of here. Windows Azure is a great platform for cloud computing, but it's not ideal for every website. If yours doesn't need the scalability, reliability, and flexibility of Windows Azure, then a cloud-based solution might be overkill. 
Oh, good idea. Talk them out of using Windows Azure. You're a regular Willy Loman of the cloud. With the Windows Azure TCO and ROI calculator, you'll be able to get a real sense of what you can expect to pay when you move your application to the cloud. And you'll see how much you can save versus comparable on-premises computing solutions. See, the screen captures weren't so bad. You got a nice break. You know, I take it back. I do want pie. <laughs>